Hey everybody, how you doing? Joe here from the Scruffy Fam. So, uh, it has been a crazy last couple of weeks. We've had everything from twins being born, um, one having to go to the NICU for an extended period of time, which you guys can see in our last video. Um, he's still there, uh, and he'll be there for probably the next month, but that's okay, we've been through this before. Um, we're rotating going up to the hospital to be with him. Uh, but still have four kiddos at home, so uh, a little bit crazy. But one of the things when you have an urban homestead and you're gone that long is things kind of can get away from you. So today in this vlog, really just want to show you real life of what happens when you kind of let things go. So let's do a walk around here. Okay, so if you'll notice behind me, this was our spring and summer bed. It is now covered in weeds. Um, our plan is actually to amend that soil and just get it ready for next year. Um, we've already had, we've already dropped down to almost freezing and we're supposed to get below freezing this weekend. So that's one of the other things of living in Wisconsin. Just kind of is what it is. Uh, then behind me right here is our full sun bed. This was our potato bed and you can see there's some, uh, we got some volunteer tomato plants coming up in there. Um, some grasses and just other stuff that just doesn't need to be there anymore. So um, we're gonna actually get this bed cleaned out. We're gonna amend the soil and we're gonna plant garlic in here. Uh, we're right about the great time of the year to do garlic. So we're gonna put garlic in, um, but we're gonna get working on that this weekend. Uh, and our yard, oh my, it is a jungle. It is an absolute jungle. It is super thick. Um, the chickens aren't very happy with me right now because they found a way to get out of our yard and get in our neighbor's yard. So I've got to work on that and get it fixed because um, we just don't want them wandering all through the neighborhood. I'm sure they would be fine and they would enjoy it, but <laughs> we would not. Um, so let's go around here and see what we got going on. Okay, so here on the side, if, if you followed along with any of our garden tours, you may have noticed that we have a very large chocolate mint patch. Okay, so this is all chocolate mint down here. Uh, problem is it's got some friends that have decided to grow up in it as well that just needs to get taken out. Uh, we also have burdock that is going absolutely insane. Um, this is first year burdock and the way that you can tell is they haven't sent out their shoots uh, that get these really burry seeds on them. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually here in the next couple days, maybe next weekend or the weekend after, we're going to dig up the roots. Now that will be an experience. Those roots are deep and they're thick and actually you use those roots medicinally and that's one of the things that um, Tasha's gonna do and she'll probably tell you guys what that's all used for, uh, give her a chance to heal up. Um, our grape vine this year, it just didn't produce. It only had like three clutches of grapes and that was it and the chipmunks and squirrels got to them before we ever had a chance to eat them. So we actually decided we're gonna pull out the grape and we have a massive trellis here. Let me see if I can show you. It goes from here, still going all the way to there. Uh, so we're actually gonna use this trellis for melons, cucumbers, uh, and some beans, that all the climbing stuff, um, just so that we can get some use out of the trellis. Okay, so moving on here. Now our sunflower is actually this was a volunteer. We did not plant this. It was a volunteer. We decided to let it go. And it's actually done really, really well. And if you can see here, it's dying off. And let me get you in really close. Just about ready to snip these off and go dry them. I already have a couple of them that are on our herb drying rack in our garage. Uh, so probably this weekend, I'm gonna go through here and collect all of the heads that are left on here before the squirrels and the chipmunks get to them. Uh, our bell pepper plant, this thing, and this thing has been a trip. We are finally getting bell peppers growing. 
and we're like seriously a week or two weeks from our first frost it just it doesn't make sense uh, we are debating whether or not to bring this guy inside the drawback to that is the place that we would do it is our basement um, we've got a really old school basement it's a lot of rock dirt concrete mix uh, we'll <laughs> we're gonna clean out the dungeon <laughs> and we'll show you guys what it looks like um, the jalapeno is still rocking and rolling oh hello sunflower so the jalapeno is still going really good we got a couple little guys that are still coming in um, so we're gonna try to let these go as long as they can uh, our poblano here Tasha's really proud of this poblano uh, she planted this from seed it just took a long time to get going um, and again we might try to to rescue this guy and bring him inside um, but until we really have the infrastructure for it I don't know if it's gonna be this season might be next season um, and here's the ones that are kind of sad our poor tomatoes and cucumbers we have had hot weather rainy weather hot weather rainy weather very cold rain very cold uh, so we got a lot of splitting on our tomatoes and we just got beat up by chipmunks and squirrels and rabbits eating some of the low fruit now it's good to see that some of these guys here these ones are tasha planted from seed we got a big guy right here that looks like he's doing pretty well still um and then some other ones you can see we got the splitting Let's see if i can show you guys here see how it's split there um not very fun and next to it is our cucumber the cucumber has seen better days but this dude is a fighter <laughs> oh oh chipmunks let's see if we can already ate into that one but this still has some little ones going here we were gonna pull all this but these runners it's sending off actually have some fruit on them still uh, but it is nearing its end of days here and again our other tomatoes I think this is the Cherokee yeah this is the Cherokee purple um, this thing has had so much pressure from chipmunks and squirrels and stuff which is a shame because these things get huge and they're really tasty uh, and it's kind of grown into our cherry tomatoes these are black cherry and these guys we've actually been able to harvest quite a few but if you guys can see on here there's a ton of green ones still um, it's grown up onto our deck <laughs> we had to move the blueberry because it was growing into the blueberry this thing was crazy I would definitely want to do this black cherry again next year this was awesome um, but it just <laughs> it's gone a little crazy uh, and just the the weeds is, is insane um, and then I know Tasha showed you guys in the garden tour that she did and I guess I'm actually kind of doing one so I guess we'll call this the garden tour um, we Elijah and I cleared out all the perennials that were here so all the way back there by that tree and around so all of this okay was perennials all of it uh, and now you can see there's a lot of grass and stuff that is just coming up in here which is fine um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of construction on this slope we're actually gonna do a couple of tiers uh, Tasha's got a whole plan of what that's gonna look like um, so that's something we'll get working on a little elderberry here so this one is the ranch and this poor guy has had so much weed pressure there was a yucca here and I'm gonna have to dig into this thing again and pull it out um, I think I'm gonna end up putting some weed fabric all the way around this uh, just to help give it a chance um, the plant itself is doing really well it's got a lot of new growth we did have something funky going on with the leaves but that looks to have resolved itself for the most part. Um, so, don't know. Yeah, and we've got a red pear tree here. 
I don't know if we've shown you this in any of the garden tours, but this is a red pear. And we got zero pears off of it. Again, chipmunks, squirrels, birds. They got this before a lot of the fruit was even ripe, um, which is absolutely insane to think about. And then, uh, check in here on my little raspberry experiment. These guys are actually looking really good. So these were three little sticks that were offshoots of the raspberry patch that Tasha's shown you a few times. Uh, we took those sticks and literally I put them in the ground to see what would happen and they're doing great. Uh, I think we're gonna leave them here. Uh, we'll mulch around it for the winter, help, help them winter through and see what happens next year. Pretty happy with that. Oh, and our Bob Gordon, look at this dude. This is a very large offshoot here. Um, he's doing great. A lot of new growth. Uh, we were actually a little concerned about this one when we were putting it in. He was looking a little rough, but he is taking off. This is awesome to see. Um, we got a lot of weeds around him though. Usually I don't have like all this junk in the ground around it, but I've been gone for two weeks. And this, what the? Okay, so again, when you're gone and you've got random, there's, this is a tomato. What? <laughs> They're, okay. So when I say we have chipmunk, squirrel, and rabbit problems, they legit carried the seeds to the side of the house. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I kind of want you to show real life what happens when you take some time off. Um, we took two weeks with the babies getting here. Uh, the weather really hasn't cooperated a whole lot. Um, but, you know, any of you that are on the homestead path or urban homestead path and it's something you want to do, uh, you got to understand that it's a 24-7 job. It really is. And if you take a break, there's consequences for those. Um, and, you know, it's okay. It, seasons change and there's always another season. So um, we're going to have a lessons learned vlog coming up really soon of the things that we learned in our first season. Uh, we actually are hitting our first year living in this house. Uh, we moved in right at the beginning of winter. And so this was our first spring, first summer, first fall living here. And we learned a lot of things about this house and about this property. And there's a lot of projects we wanna do coming up uh, that we're really, really excited for. So uh, thanks for coming along with us guys. I guess we will call this the beginning of October garden tour. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing on our channel. We're getting back to the homestead and stuff. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below or you can message us on Instagram. Uh, we're on Instagram at the scruffy fam and at the scruffy mama. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for the thoughts and prayers for our little ones. And we're super excited to have these kiddos here. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.